Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of PC sim, PC Building Simulator. I can't remember the name of it. I want to say PC Simulator Building. No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, so in our last episode, I think we didn't actually go... Did we order this stuff? Let's see, so this is today. So we just have a delivery of one thing coming tomorrow. I think that's right. I think all we have to do is go for the day. I think we are good because um, let's just double check. Double click. So this one um, replaced the air cooler, but we don't know what the air cooler is. We could just go buy one and take a chance, but then we're just out money if, if it's not real or if it's the wrong one. Remove viruses, we could do that easy. And then I think this is what we actually ordered is we upgraded 16 gigs of RAM. Now, RAM also is something that, you know, you might have the throughput and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if that's the actual term I'm looking for, but you know, uh, there there is differences in RAM. Not so much maybe today. Uh, I know there was like DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, so on and so forth. So this, I'm hoping that there isn't that kind of different differentiation. So let's also go check the shop. I just want to just kind of get an idea. Oh, there's the bar right there. I was thinking of that. Um, DDR4, DDR4, DDR4. So it looks like everything's DDR4. So. I, I would imagine it's not going to have us do something that we can't purchase. I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. So graphics cards. I, I noticed in the last episode, I just saw this down here. Tools. Uh, for $1,000, we can get the desk cables connect themselves automatically. Oh, <laughs> that will definitely be good. Quick screw tool, quick cable tool, auto standoff tables. For those of you who don't know what standoffs are, uh, the motherboard, because your case is metal and electronic components don't like metal, there's what's called standoffs. They're these little, maybe, I don't know, just tiny little risers basically that are little metal bronzish or something uh, that just lift the, the motherboard like a quarter of an inch off of the, off of the back of the plate. That way you don't, you know, short stuff out. So that... I imagine you can kind of see a couple right there. I'm sure we'll probably get to see them. Faster installation upgrade. I don't know what that means. Auto screw tool. That's probably like when we're unscrewing the case and stuff. Auto cable tool. Is that what that says? All screws. Yeah, it must be screws. Ooh, what's this? PC bay for 800. Part ranking. Compare relative performance to CPUs and graphics card. That's probably for benchmarking and stuff. Will it run? Find out whether it will run or not without the pain of installing a part first. That could be good. That's only 200. System info. Get the details of system's performance. And auto. So it looks like there are a couple tape, uh, a couple tools that we might be able to get. This one might be good. Get used parts at reduced prices. I wonder if it's the exact same parts here, except for they're at better prices because they're used or so. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge as we get there. So just some things to keep in mind there. Now, also, I did get a couple responses back saying, please do make this into a series. And I was thinking we will do that. Definitely do that. Um, however, the way this is, I mean, it seems we'll, we'll see how many different types of jobs it has. But, you know, uh, it'll get really boring if, okay, here we are on day 34 and, oh, we got PC virus removal and so on and so forth. So if it, it gets too repetitive, we might put it on hold. I mean, this is an early access game. They are working a lot on getting new, uh, new technologies in like water cooling and fun stuff like that, uh, SCSI. Um, uh, raid and stuff like that I guess is probably a better way to say it um, but they also said that they're working on more varieties of troubleshooting however to be completely honest uh, working in uh, like I said I worked at Best Buy as the lead technician 
uh, in Littleton, Colorado for a few years and the majority of your things that come in actually are viruses uh, and replacing parts or upgrading parts. So they're pretty accurate, ac accurate, accurate there. Um, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes and if it kind of starts getting a little stale, you know, uh, we might put it on hold till a next update or something like that. So let's go ahead and begin. I think I think we have everything set. The only thing that had a time limit on it is really uh, the virus skin. So we do have this is I'm hoping our RAM Sheen. Oh, there we go. We've got wait. Oh, that was this one. So what's the Sheen Titan? Is it? I don't know, did we, <laughs> I can't remember, did we order that RAM? <laughs> I don't think Sheen is a type of RAM, I think that's a video card or something. A uh, RAM. Okay, yeah it is. Okay, good. I, I'm not really familiar with the Sheen brand, usually I use like PNY, um, uh, I use Kingston, stuff like that. I don't even know what's in my computer now. I guess if I watched my uh, Taz Teaches um, video, I would know. So let's go ahead and skip on it to the next day, end the day, go to bed. Did I click it? I thought I clicked it. There we go, I did click it. So it looks like we have the two eight gigs arriving today, and then we have the three systems all today. So there's the systems. Let's go ahead and grab this. So there's our RAM. Um, upgrade. So this is, let's get this guy out of the way first. We need to replace the air cooler. And I'm assuming, let's see. So I guess, ooh, you are dusty. Does it say, oh yeah, dust it out. Look how dusty it is inside there. So uh, for this, we really don't have to plug it in until we actually verify the PC can boot. But I'm assuming that this is the part we need to remove right here. So let's go ahead and grab out these screws. Open the case. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and clean it, air it out, dry it, blow it out. The outside actually is in really good shape. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any dust there, but holy cow, look at the inside. And that is that is a true thing. I mean. I've seen PCs come in where, dude, they were just in terrible shape. I mean, I take mine out. Uh, that's dusty right there, isn't it? Is there dust on this? I'm just not seeing it. Do I have to remove the front? I don't know. Oh, we'll just blow everything out that we can. And if it ends up saying, oh, there it went. It cleaned it. Okay, so cleaned out dust is all taken care of. Yeah, I've seen them come in where, you know, there were... <laughs> there are dust bunnies giant ones in the bottom of the case and stuff all right so we're done with that now one thing we need to remember is we are removing the CPU air cooler here uh, which means we have to take off the cable that powers it but because we're taking this off that means we are going to have to put on some more thermal paste and it just takes a tiny dab just like that even in real life you get a pretty big when you buy one it does come pretty large and you just use a tiny drop and it smashes out pretty big all right so let's go ahead and that is our air cooler i guess i really didn't need to put the paste on now normally i would wait until i put on the cp uh, the the new cooling fan but i doubt there's going to be penalties like dust accumulating in it that would be bad um so i think this guy is pretty much done um I'm just wondering, should we put back on the side just so we don't lose it? Ooh, that looks dusty too. I wonder if we could dust that off, because that kind of looks dusty. Oh yeah, it was. It wasn't required, because we got the thing completed. Alright, so let's go ahead and escape out. Let's just pick this up. And we're going to set this right next to the door because it's not ready to go yet. Isn't there a spot? Yep, right there. So this is the fan. Let's go ahead and get that on order. And I guess we should probably check what fan it is because we're going to replace it with the same part. Now I've heard that you can actually kind of cheat the system here. Does I work? Yes, I works. 
Uh, you can actually cheat the game. Uh, we need cooling. So we need um, more Tony Thermal 100. Um, but anyway, I've, I've read some reviews saying that you can actually cheat the system, put in super cheap stuff, Tony Thermal 100. Um, as long as it fits, you're fine. Like, this is only a $10 fan. So let's go and do that. We'll get it here tomorrow. I'm not going to pay $100. Just get it here today. <laughs> no way. Um, and I'm not going to do that just to get more money. Uh, I'm going to kind of treat this as I would if I were running my own PC workshop. And uh, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to give the comp give my all. Do my best for the... the... Alright, so let's do this one. Do my best for my uh, customer. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's go ahead and remove the side. So on this one, we're just removing the RAM. Now it didn't say, it says upgrade to 16. Now this might be also another thing that the game's going to let you do is replace this too uh, and put the 16 in. We're gonna be super nice to our customer. They're actually gonna end up with 18. Now I think I mentioned back in the day uh, you actually had to you had specific order like you would put one stick here and you'd have to install it in pairs nowadays you can actually do it more one-offs you can just put in a single and then another single and they don't have to match like back in the day you actually had to like have a four gig here and a four gig that was one away and then you would put you know whatever else and whatever else here but they had to match they had to basically be the same type of ram but i don't think that's the case nowadays with this stuff so let's go ahead we're gonna be super nice we're gonna please our customers not only are they gonna get because they already paid for this that's their own and now they're gonna pay for two eights to give them 16 and i don't think it's gonna you know complain that we gave them too much i don't know we'll find out <laughs> So there's our second RAM slot. And uh, there you go. You can see these things automatically close when you put in the RAM. When you put in the DIM, uh, they automatically, they're kind of like on a, a rocker. So there we go. There's that. Let's go ahead and install the side again. I don't know if you have to put in the side right away either. How do I close it? Do I not have to? Oh, wait, it's on close. Oh, maybe that one just self-locks when you do it. All right, this is probably one of the first upgrades I'm gonna want is to, uh, whoops, I need cable, because this is a wee bit annoying, but it's even annoying in real life. You just have to plug everything in, unplug everything. I am glad that you don't have to undo everything though. Like you just right click on that and it comes up. Let's hit escape to get out, go in here, make sure the PC boots. No boot device. Uh-oh. <laughs> Undo another cable. That's not good. Well, we get some chance to do some troubleshooting. That is one thing about this is it's... Wait, I've got both there. All right, let's power it off. And we'll go look at it. Hello? So we had everything powered in. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I escape you? See, I get the feeling that maybe we actually did. What's the plug? Oh, you are right there. Oop. All right, let's go check. Did we bump a hard drive or something is my worry over the, and we didn't touch that. We put in the RAM. We did, they're all closed. Okay, so why is it saying it won't boot? We didn't touch the hard drive. Let's just verify. It looks like it has its cable. It should have two cables. Let's kind of move the side too. Actually, maybe it doesn't. We might have clicked that on accident, didn't we? Yeah, it looks like we did. All right, well, let's just plug that back in. It is a wee bit temperamental in that in that sense. I think. All right, is this the? They look the same. Okay, so there's that one. Yeah, don't unplug things on accident. 
and put you back on. There we go. Now we'll plug it back in. Uh, cable up. Put you there again. I'll have to watch the video because I don't remember seeing it say it was unplugging a cable there, but it must have. I don't think that this had two issues. Uh, whoops, I forgot to do this. Hit P. There we go. And we got our last. So that should do it. It should say we're good to go. Leave by the door. So let's go ahead and power it down. Now, I don't know. It's probably also not going to... Um, ding you if you just hit the power button here but the more proper way is to do the shutdown so the OS can actually shut down then just cut power from it so I do that also there are a lot of shortcuts we could probably take that we're not going to take so let's go ahead turn that guy in right there and then this one was a simple scan so we would put it up there we go and cable it up go into it here NZX2. All right, cable. So yeah, you can definitely see um, how irritating this part could be. Although, like I said, in real life, it's actually pretty irritating as also. So hit P, come over to the monitor. Error, no CPU, what? I know we didn't do anything on this one. No CPU fan. How can there no, be no CPU found? You know what? There was an update. <laughs> there was an update that just happened on this. And I wonder if it changed the game. Because this is simply to remove viruses. This isn't to fix a CPU. And we definitely... I know for sure we did not remove a CPU in this thing that's okay so well, let's troubleshoot it a little let's let's see if we can figure it out what we need to do it's a good experience and then um, so if we take you off take you off and you're not broken right let's go to cooling Nope, this is good because it has the little property thing on it. So that's kind of good. Uh, let's zoom. Ooh. Zoom in. There's a CPU right there. Maybe if we take it out and put it back in. Let's just try that. So let's go CPU. Go ahead and put it back in the processor. So it registers it. And then don't forget the thermal paste. Now I don't know, like I said, this isn't a job that's actually telling you put, oh, I didn't know that you could just go to PC parts and it shows you all their parts. <laughs> that's cool. Um, uh, what do I want? Tools. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to ding you because this is actually not asking us to do anything with the CPU. I'll be, I, I will be curious to see if it says the, <laughs> the hard drive's unplugged too or something. Uh, let's go ahead and put back on our fan. Burp. And don't forget to power it. Burp. And to there. Connect the motherboard. To what? Why is the motherboard not connected to the... Huh. Let's go ahead. We can even plug these in. There's the monitor. Here's the power. We can do it through the system, which is kind of cool. <laughs> it looks like. So I don't see anything else not being plugged in. Yeah, I wonder if their update they did actually kind of just uh, things that were in your inventory are kind of goofy. All right, let's go ahead and install the site again. But hey, it's, it's fun. As long as we don't have to replace that CPU. And it registered that it's in there now. I'll be happy. Go and power it on. Come over here. Oh, see, got the CPU. Sweet. So this one we need to install our virus scanner, and of course I didn't do my thumb drive. Do, do, do. Okay, escape. 
come in here oh automatically added okay perfect so we want to add a virus scanner and it's going to probably tell us we need to reboot yep okay and run the virus scanner now I have to tell you, whatever brand virus scanner this is, it's the best virus scanner I ever used because it's simple. It always finds every virus. It cleans every virus. Usually with viruses, a lot of times you have to do a lot of extra work. And the virus scanner does help it remove some of the base stuff, but then you have to go remove corrupted files or uh, any other remnants of the scanner. I'm going to go ahead and do what I said I was going to do, um, removing the software that I had on there. Go ahead and restart it. We'll go ahead and shut it down, and this guy should be ready to go. And uh, I guess what we'll do, maybe we'll just call it good because we're at 21 minutes. So, uh, whoop. just going to take you and put you right here. And you are all green. You are all hello. <laughs> you are all green, so we're good there. So I think what we'll do maybe with an episode is basically do a day. So I, I technically I think this is day three, isn't it? I think so because our first day was just a virus scan, wasn't it? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and on at least those two ready to boot. So it looks like we're good there. 16 gigs of RAM and it's up and running. So we can discard that one. Um, this one, we're still missing the part. So this one, oops, you, hello. Why is it not clicking it? Uh, end of day, so that one's good. Go ahead and discard that one now. So, what? Oh, I was gonna say, I didn't miss the thermal paste. Hi there, I bought a PC from you six months ago from Tim. And it's been overheating whenever I try to do anything on it. I took a look under the CPU cooler and there's no thermal paste. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I demand that you fix this for free. And this time, test the PC before you send it back. Now, this is not accurate because you can power on the CPU and everything um, just fine without the thermal paste being in there. But we need to run a 3D mark. Why would you need to run 3D? I guess you're heating it up or something. Okay, whatever. So that's one that'll be really easy. This one is our air cooler. This one, install a Sheen 600 or better. Okay. So it looks like those are our two new jobs. This one's not going to take anything. This one, we need to get the Sheen Power King 600. So let's go over here real quick. They're going to give us 360. Hopefully it's at least the machine 600 or better. So we can do this. S-H, is it E-A-N? Yeah, there we go. 600. Well, it's going to have to be better. It's only 90 bucks, so that's not bad. So let's go ahead and do that. And, ooh, no, not 3 to 5. And that's only $10, but... And they don't have a time limit on this, but I would like to get it out of here as quick as possible. I don't like systems sitting on my desk very long. Okay, so... It looks like that is all we need for this day. I think we be done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out. And let's, I'm just going to log out by the door to help me remember that in the next episode, we're at the door. Now, we might, like I said, if we find that CPUs are not wired up, hard drives are not wired up, I'll leave it up to you guys. We can continue plugging along and um, seeing if uh, we get those extra things, but we're not getting paid for those extra things. Um especially if any components are really missing we'll miss out on that so uh let me know what you guys think should we restart i'll get if you do choose to restart i'll get back up to basically day number three like we are right now and we'll continue from there 
Or if you want me to restart all the way, that's fine and dandy too. Just let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but my video that went out on April 1st, that was not a joke. I really do want to hit a thousand subs and I'm going to give away 50 games from Steam. That's 20 games per, or not 20 games, one game per each 20 subs, which is pretty good, I guess. Um, but I really do want to be able to reach that uh, thousand mark. I think it'll be awesome. And for that, I want to give you guys games, lots of games, 50 games. So be sure to tell all your friends, neighbors, family, enemies, I don't care. Tell everyone, check out my channel. If they like it, they can sub. And uh, when I hit that, we'll go ahead and do a giant giveaway. So the April Fool's joke portion of it was that I said it was the biggest giveaway on YouTube. I have no clue if it was or if it is or isn't. So like I say, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below aside from that comment like and subscribe and if you want to be notified of when i am uploading videos from youtube you can also click the little notification bell next to the sub button to say yes i really do want to know when he uploads videos and it will send you that also if you follow me on twitter you will uh, be able to get that uh, tweet every time i upload a video because i have it set to do that um Check out my other channels and my Discord, and that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.